supposed to put beef in the trifle. Welcome to Cake and It's Special. This week I wanted to make a Friends themed cake. I love Friends. Who doesn't love Friends? And I thought what better cake than to make the iconic Thanksgiving trifle that Rachel messes up so bad. So in Rachel's cake the order goes ladyfingers, jam, custard, raspberries, more ladyfingers, then beef with peas and onions, more custard, bananas, and then whipped cream. Obviously, this is a cake, so I'm gonna have to mix things up. This isn't a mess up trifle. So I'm gonna show you my version of this. Okay, so here we go. For the first layer, which is lady fingers, I'm going to be using vanilla sponge. The base of my trifle dish is ever so slightly narrower than the top. So I had to trim down a little bit of my cake. I think I started with an eight inch cake. I had to trim that down ever so slightly. I also cut out little wedges all the way round because in a trifle things do kind of drip down through the next layer and I wanted that to happen but if the cake was too perfectly in a bowl it just wouldn't have happened. So I had to cut out little wedges here and there. And then the next layer which is jam, I just put it in a piping bag because you've got more control with a piping bag and I just put it on top making sure to get in them little nooks that I just cut out, going all the way around into the centre. On top of the jam is custard in Rachel's cake, but what I did was I made custard buttercream, which is super yummy. I will leave the recipe that I use in the description box below so you can try it for yourself. If you do try it, please let me know what you think to it. Next is raspberries. So make sure with your raspberries that you pick the nice looking ones, pick the pretty little ones to go around the edge of your bowl. So once I place the raspberries on top, I then take my custard custard cream again and I just pipe in between each raspberry. Next layer will be more lady fingers, but we're gonna use another layer of vanilla sponge. Just put that on top. Make sure you push it down so that it's not angled in any way. And again, keep measuring. I cannot stress this enough. You must keep measuring. So this is my I measured how much of what I wanted to go in each so that I could make sure it was all going to reach the top of the bowl properly. Now we're to the beef with peas and onions. Um, what I did for this was I managed to find some white clear um, gummy sweets which I chopped up really fine. Um, I put some shortening on my hands as well and I just rubbed them in between my fingers and that made them really thin and stretchy and it looked so much like boiled onions, it was brilliant. I also found some little chocolate balls that have a candy coating on, it looks so much like peas. I got some rice cereal. I melted some milk chocolate into that and just gave that a good stir and then I put some of my peas and my onions into that and mixed that up. Now 
once I put that in the trifle bowl, I made sure to put it in the center. I can make a big mound in the center and then I use my set spatula to just like level that out to the sides. If you just chuck it in any old how, you're gonna get melted chocolate all down the sides of your bowl. So you want to make as little mess as possible. It is difficult. And then as I was spreading it to the sides, I made sure to just drop a few um, sweets around the edges as well that I'd not chucked in the bowl, just to make sure that you could see them properly. Top of the beef, you've got another layer of custard buttercream. You only want a thin layer this time. For the bananas, I made a banana cake. Again, I will leave you the recipe below. It is super good. What I did was I made a nine inch banana cake and I got a little circle cutter and I just cut out loads of little circles. Then got some plain vanilla buttercream and I just covered each one individually. I dyed fondant with just the tiniest touch of yellow to make it a pale banana colour fondant and I just covered each one individually. I scored up the sides to make it look like banana. Uh, I only did it with the outside ones because no one's going to see the inside ones. So then I did that all the way around until it was absolutely full. top on Rachel's cake would be whipped cream but for this we're just going to use plain vanilla buttercream so I just pile that on top and I leveled it out as smoothly as I could Let me know in the comments below who is your favourite Friends character. Mine has got to be by Miles Chandler. I think he is hilarious. Um, and also your favourite episode. I think my favourite episode is the Thanksgiving one where they play football. It makes me laugh every time. That's it from me. Please come back next week. There'll be something completely different again. And please subscribe. Please tell your friends. And please give me a thumbs up and if you try my cakes, let me know how they go. Show me in the comments. I want to hear from you. So, yeah.